Hey there guys, welcome to Launch Space Zone. Um, if you're low on lives, you can restock up right here by just simply holding down the spin, that's the spin dash button and then these birds will infinitely come to you. And you, you will get extra lives eventually, like right there, then it'll go to 10,000. Then it'll keep, it'll, it'll only go up to 10,000, but you, every 50,000 points you get, you get an extra life. This guy only moves whenever you do. It's kind of interesting. Right here, it's kind of a glitch right here. If you spin dash on here, you'll just rotate around when you stop. Pretty interesting, I think. But anyways, in here, there's a giant ring in here. I'm not gonna get it because I don't want to become supersonic in the last stage. I already showed you enough of him. I'm eating a watermelon right now, by the way. So. You may hear some chewing noises throughout the um video. I hate these teleporting things right here. These things that rotate. Ugh, I hate those things so bad. They're so hard to use. They're annoying. I just don't like them. These guys, you have to jump on them just like that to kill them when they open out of their shell. Otherwise, you can't kill them even if you're invincible. Alright, tell you what. Alright, I'm not gonna eat any more of the watermelon. That's I, I, that's got that's got to be too annoying for you guys to hear. I just listened to some of the playback and I just cut it out. It out. Like I recorded the whole video actually, believe it or not, until the end while I was eating it. Then I just decided I'm not gonna include that. I I just I included a little bit of it because I thought it sounded kind of funny hearing how funny it sounded on the computer but you know that's not I don't want that on my video for the whole time that is I'm a goofy person so I mean that's I'm gonna do stuff like that occasionally um let's see anything interesting at school oh yeah I purposely got hit right there so then I won't become supersonic um to the, okay, right down here, there's also a giant ring right in there, but I can never get in there, no matter what I do, I can never get in there while as soon as Sonic, I don't know why, I can never do it. Anyways, today at school, weightlifting, um, we have a really horrible weightlifting teacher, Coach Wofford, that's his name, literally, Coach Wofford, and the, our, our, um, wrestling team won first place in the state championship. And he was, then he was like calling them a bunch of pussies because they weren't doing any workout because they were just sitting back and talking. And they, he, um, swore them out. And then he, he kept going on until one of them said, Get your mother effing ass back to the, your office and sit there like you do all the class. That's literally, that's all he does during class is just sit back there and do, uh, not do anything. He really, he's really weird too, he always sits back and doesn't do anything, he talks to himself, he's just not a good teacher. Like, my brother had him too, and <laughs> my brother gave me a bunch of excuses why he didn't want to wear clothes. My brother was supposed to wear gym clothes, but of course my brother never did. And then when Coach Wofford offered him some clothes to wear, my brother refused them. Because my brother said they either stank, smelled, they were funny looking, they didn't match his clothing, or they were just, they, they were too big. My brother would always come up with these weird excuses. <laughs> it was really funny. Uh, then Coach Walker finally said, I remember, oh my, this, I mean, from what my brother told me, he said, well, it's pretty obvious you're not going to do doing anything today, so why don't you go over there and sit down like you do all the class grade. And then my brother got zero for the day, apparently, I guess, but... Anyways, more about the actual game. Your shield can also deflect projectiles from those snail guys. That's just to say. <laughs> and also, pollen is killing me. Oh my gosh, I had allergies. But now it's pollen season, and now it's only worse yet. Hello, Robotnik. 
Anyways, um, Mount Pollen. Here in the south, it's, it's pretty bad here in the south. Like, the cars, they're all covered in pollen. And Knuckles just throws a bomb right down there at the bottom. Just to be an asshole, I guess. To ruin our trip, I guess. Try and kill us. And the glitch is, if you don't touch that platform that falls away, it'll stay there. Just like right there. Just to mention that too, that's just to say. Hello, Robotnik. Yeah, um... This boss, I think it's pretty challenging, actually. I know it's not really challenging, but I still... I don't know why, I just think it's hard. Pardon me one second, I gotta go blow my nose. Oh, good friends. Well... I think I took my allergy medication, so I'm sure that it should go away. Sonic's foot, that's like a glitch right there, I think. Sonic's foot is like into the, in the ground right now, if you take a look at it. But right now, see, it immediately went above there when it became zone number two. Thanks, Tails. Thanks a lot for taking that. Anyways, that's a new item right there, those things. They shoot you in the direction you're going. And these Boeing, these Bird Bot 757, I think they're called that. They're pretty annoying. I never realized it until now. Yeah, that's what they're called, Bird Bot, I think. 757. I know it's 757, it's correct. No, no, 767, I think. I hope Boeing doesn't sue Sega. Here in the south, there's also all types of critters too, like possums, raccoons, that live in residential areas too, not just rural, rural areas. Is it here? It's a dick move by Sega, look at that. Mm -hmm. Jeez, I've been swearing a lot in this video. At least I don't swear as much as Cybershell. Good riddance, because he swear a lot. I don't know why he has been making videos. And right here, this is so aggravating to me right there. I don't know what just happened right there. I got hurt for no apparent reason. I like that part right there where you think you're gonna get hit into the spikes, but you really don't. Game has mercy on you. I'm gonna kill this guy right here just to make sure. That's a new thing right there, those laser things. That's also something new in Act 2. I've always wondered... Why does Bonic always survive like a giant explosion? You haven't seen the video yet, but in Sonic 2, well, you probably have actually, since you probably played the game if you're watching this, but in Sonic 2, the Death Egg blows up, apparently, and it, Monik is inside there, yet he survives. How does he survive that? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense how he can survive an explosion of that big giant. I mean, if you, they, Tails was able to see it from the planet live on. I think it's Planet Mobius, I think. In Sonic CD it's called that, but maybe in their regular cartilage Sonic games it may be something else. I don't know. I don't, re I don't remember them saying, you know, I'm saying any time in the manual. Right here, this is, I, thought, I, I don't know why. I just screw up right here, you know. I don't know why, vertical bars sometimes randomly appear in my videos. I don't know why, I, just, I don't know if it's the recording device I'm using, or what, but... I use Fraps to record my videos. Even comment below if you think the recording quality is good or bad. Because I'd like to know, and I'll try and prove it if it's bad, or even if it watches. 
and right to the right of here is the first of the two bosses you fight in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. In Sonic 3, this is the first of the third you fight. I, I'll include a, um, in my bonus video, I'll include the final boss of Sonic 3. They, they took it out for Sonic's run in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. They kept it in for Knuckles. I screwed up right there, I'm not why I jumped, but we all make mistakes. Not a very bad boss. And look at this, he left his egg, egg transporter thing behind. What's this? It's Knuckles. And he just tried to epically fail. I mean, what's he doing standing right in the middle of the launch pad? You know, isn't that very dangerous? With the toxic fumes and the extreme heat that that rocket produces, wait a minute, rocket, that's the death egg. Well, wait a minute. Is it? No. Oh, the rocket and the death egg, how about that? That would be better. What I don't understand is where does Robotnik get all the money or supplies to build all this stuff? I mean, think about it, this stuff must cost a lot. And where does he get his supplies from, too? New Corp Steel, I guess? I don't know. I wouldn't know where he gets it from. I always like doing that, even though I always, I know you always get hit. I try to do just a little bit something. I, sh I should have just ended it right here. I just... I felt really goofy right here, just decided to try a dramatic ending, but of course I know knowing me it was going to be wrong, so I just decided to just end it quickly and thought he should be wrong. Sonic got through that too. If the time if you end the level right at 959, you'll get it um, Thousand bonus points, believe it or not. Just that's just to say. And the Death Egg fails to launch into outer space, but however, it crashes onto floating island. And I'll see you in the Mushroom Hill Zone. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.